All right, guys, so you guys probably would have seen already inside of Cookie and Kingdom in your mailbox that there was a 10,000 crystals that was given to us, to all of the players, really, and some extra rewards on the side uh, with the maintenance time change and things like that. But the main thing was the mysterious 10,000 crystal that was given to all of the players. And for those who do not know the whole story, some of you guys might be thinking, oh, it may have been because of the maintenance extension. Uh, may have been because of some of the other changes that was uh you know taking place but that's not all guys this 10,000 crystal has a real big backstory to it and i know some of you guys might have already seen it and might have already heard it but here we go let me tell you guys exactly what has happened with dev sisters and the korean neighbor cafe because this has to do with the korean community because us in the english community doesn't really have this whole uh neighbor cafe available to us so if you guys look at the screen right now, you're going to be able to see this post right here that was made onto the official Neighbor Cafe of Cooker and Kingdom. Uh, these are all over the Korean news articles that are covering the game section, okay? And it is insane how uh, this kind of came to be. And if you guys look on the screen right now, you're going to be able to see right here. Uh, it's all in Korean, but really it's about uh, the problems and the personal opinion about an employee of Cookie and Kingdom that has logged on to the official Cookie and Kingdom Neighbor Cafe account and posted this particular article. And it talks about, you know, the funds and, you know, how much they have spent, how much they're uh, possibly making whether they're negative or you know whether they're positive on the uh, revenue and then there's a talk about the price changes for the uh apple play store as well as the google play store how there was a uh, mix-up and if you guys didn't know the google play account uh you know purchases the price has changed on those but the apple account uh purchases the prices didn't change for that after the five hour or actually seven hour of maintenance almost uh that took place yesterday right uh there was a mix up on that and then they had to you know change that and then had to go and fix that as well because the prices were not the same for each of them so they were talking about that and also if you guys didn't know some people got extra crystals on top of whatever they were supposed to get so you know the after the maintenance 2000 crystals were given however some people got 4000 some people got 6000 depending on uh, the, if there was a duplicate of that. But there was no talk about that. So the employee who created this post was talking about that, right? So there in the bottom, it's like, uh, if you're going to give out 4,000 crystals accidentally to some players, then you should do it for the others as well and make a post about it. But there was no post about that either. So after all of that, Cooker and Kingdom has officially uh, kind of posted and uh, wrote an apology letter to all of the uh, you know members of the official cafe talking about, you know, uh, this is... This is what happened. We're sorry for that. We're going to take good care of our employees. This particular employee was new and stuff like that. And then that's the reason why there's a 10,000 crystals that was given out to every single player that had an account. All right. So that is pretty much the reason why we have all of these 10,000 crystals inside of our mail. It just says for us in English, it just says sorry for the inconvenience. We have literally no idea what was happening. The reason why I know is because I uh, got it covered by other YouTubers like Andy Runner, who has seen this live, uh, the post coming up live while he was uh, doing something. So the reason why I'm making this video is just for you guys to keep in mind that this is exactly what has happened. Uh, and uh, it's just not something that randomly they're giving out. Whether the problem is actually real or not, we don't actually know as of right now. Uh, some people are saying that they're just kind of cutting off their uh, tail, right? And just uh, getting rid of that employee to cover up whatever it is. Or, you know, it may be that they actually just didn't know anything. And then they just posted a random, you know, post uh, on their opinion. But it was on the official cafe account. We don't know the whole detail as of right now, especially as just a player and a content creator. I would not know the whole detail, but I just wanted to let you guys know because, you know, uh, people are saying this is just random free 10,000 crystal for the maintenance. No, there is a backstory to it. And I believe that as a player and as the community, we do have the uh, right to know about what is happening. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that. But before I end the video, I do want to let you guys know there's a lot of different crystals to be gained. So if you guys look at the screen right now, there's this one right over here. Uh, this was posted yesterday of the YouTube uh, subscriber challenge. So if we reach that 1 million subscriber, we are going to be getting uh, 3,000 and 1,000 uh, rainbow cubes. So 3,000 crystals and then uh, so on. So we're going to be able to get this if you guys do go and subscribe to the YouTube channel. 
I will put a link down in the description on the official Cookie Iron Kingdom uh, English YouTube channel. So make sure to go and subscribe to it if you guys haven't done so already. And also, if you guys haven't uh, noticed, there's this right over here. The 9,000 crystals that are going to be given out to the Riddle uh, challenge that uh, BTS and C Cookie Iron Kingdom is doing for uh, the d time of duration while we wait for the collaboration to happen. So I posted a video on this yesterday. We are also getting 14 of the BTS crossover draws. And of course, the BTS Soul Stone, which kind of shows us that this is going to be a special cookie rather than a guest cookie. And then also a chance to win an art book if you guys are interested in that. And also, if you guys didn't know, uh, the 3 million uh, pre-registration has already uh, been reached. So all you need to do really is to go and pre-register if you haven't done so already. Because this is going to be for only the people who have pre-registered, all right? So the 7,000 crystal, the two decors, as well as the 20 of the free gacha draws are going to be only for the Cookie Run Kingdom players who have actually pre-registered. They are going to send you a coupon code to your email that you have registered with. It doesn't have to be linked to your, uh, you know, debt play because of the fact that you're going to be able to input that coupon code. It's not coming to your mail. It's you putting that coupon code in. All right. So make sure to go and pre-register and, uh, you know, sign up for that. I'll also leave a link down in the description for that. And also, there are a lot of uh, free rewards that are being given out to players. So if you guys didn't know, uh, there are, there is the, uh, you know, the crossover countdown event so there's a lot of uh event going on there and also uh there's also the maintenance time change so they're giving out a lot of free uh resources there as well the abyss of pearl three thousand of them all right so that's pretty much what has been happening and what is going to take place from now all the way to the update and october 12th or 13th depending on the time of uh where you live and uh, we'll just have to see exactly what is going to happen if uh, we're going to be uh, giving more information about new updates and things like that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys found the video helpful. And I hope I gave you guys some input on exactly what has happened from yesterday's maintenance update till now. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys all on the next one.